Oh, smoke. I'm trying out this. I wish I took a picture before I left. I'm trying out this weekly vlogging situation. Situation. So I just vlog like a little bit each day. By the end of the week, I'll see where it brings me. It's sad all week I haven't edited any videos. So either way, I'm still behind. I gotta do better. Y'all, when I be getting home from work, I just wanna take a bath and go to sleep. Do not wanna be sitting at no computer. Cause it's not my full time job. Now, it's your full time. Who did I park last night? I guess over here. If it's your full time job, then yes. You don't have a choice but to go home and edit videos. How you gonna eat? But this ain't my full time job. Strictly for entertainment purposes. So, ooh, head to my bitch. Oh, oh, I'm about to fall off. Hold on, you guys. I might have to take my hat off while I'm driving. It's a nice day today, everybody. Apparently, it's supposed to get up to 70. It's 11 o'clock. Crazy because I'm early. My first client's not till 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Damn, I should have brought my laptop. Only because. I told this, I'd rather get out the house earlier than uh, struggling to get out the house. But I told this girl, this girl texted me and asked me if I have any availability today for a ponytail. And I said, yeah, if you could come um, at 11.30. She never responded. So I guess she don't want to get this ponytail done. I have two sewings this evening and once I'm done with that bitch I'm not doing no ponytail like do I look like uh -uh. I mean I don't know I prefer to do it get it out the way now so when I'm done working tonight at about 6 37 o'clock I'm done not trying to do no ponytail you know but so if she don't want to respond back, that's her loss. And then this other girl hit me up on my DM last week asking me all of these questions. I'm answering all her questions. This is why I don't answer. This is why I don't respond to DMs because people think that they could just come in your DMs and just pick your brain, ask you, oh, how much is that? What type of hair do I need to get? Blah, 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 blah. And then don't book. It's very few people that do that because I very rarely open up my DMs for that very reason. I don't I do not do business via DM. I'm not an Instagram stylist. I'm a stylist who has an Instagram. There's a difference. The other day, she like, can I come at 12 o'clock on Thursday? Mind you, without booking an appointment, like, I don't just take people word that they gonna come. You have to book an appointment. You have to pay a deposit. Ain't no, ain't no, oh, I'm coming this day. That's not how I, I run my business. So, with that being said, she never, I text, I, I DM'd her back. I said, okay, sure you can do that. I have a one o'clock. I need you to be on time if you're going to do that. I also need your name, number, and email address so that I can send you an invoice for your deposit. She did not respond. Now, why would you, well, not one, number one, why would you play about your prom appointment? Number two, I don't know who prom is in freaking April. Maybe she's in like eighth grade or something. Or I don't even know, or junior prom or something. I don't know what prom would be in freaking April, especially in New Jersey. I know down south, y'all have y'all proms any time of damn year, but in New Jersey, we not having nobody's prom in April. Barely even the beginning of May. That's like an end of May, mid June type thing where prom is. We don't do prom early in the year. So. If I was going to prom, I wouldn't be playing with my prom appointment, and I would. Mm, my throat itching. Mm. <laughs> I would be having. Sorry. I would be having my plan solidified. But I can honestly see myself getting to work. It's 11 o'clock. I'll probably get there around 11:35, 11:40 ish, and I could really see her popping up. Like, hey, I'm here at 12 o'clock, and I'm be like, I'm probably gonna do it. Only because I'm there early, and that's a big reason why I'm trying to go a little bit early, just in case she do try to show up. But I could really see her like, hey, I'm getting 12 o'clock, and I'm be like, man, or sweetheart, because she's going to be a little girl. Um, 
you never hit me back up. You never said you were coming. So I don't know. Don't pick my brand because I don't get paid for my brand to get picked and don't book. Are you booking or are you looking? Hmm. Anyway, how you doing? I just really wanted to wear this hat today. Honestly, I just really, I don't want to touch it too much because I don't want to get makeup on it. I just really wanted to wear this hat today. Now, I really want to wear this hat with a look. When I, when I say a look, I mean a look, like a whole put together outfit. But then, I'm like feeling myself today and I'm like, damn, I might take a picture. So then people are already going to see my hat. Cause it's just gonna be a selfie. It's not gonna be a picture that somebody taken me. I don't know. When I get cute shit, I just can't not wear. It. I should have wore the tan one. Cause but I have one like these blue wash jeans, so that's why I wore the blue hat. But should have wore the tan one because I mean you could keep wearing that over and over and over. But you know what? I do have my dark blue hat in the back too. This is just so spring, so lit. I got on some dirty Vans. Cause I guess that's the look. But I ain't fucking with that. I'm trying to get me some new vans. Um, and I have on, I'll show you guys my outfit when I get to work. But this shit is cute as in that. I feel like a rock star. And then I got on this lippy. I don't know the name of it, but it's one of the MAC like liquid lipsticks. And you could really only wear this with a look. Can't wear this. Like when I tried to wear this with like dark hair. Mm -mm. It don't look cute. Now I got this light hair going. It looks it looks popping. But yeah, on my way to work, I just made me some tuna fish for breakfast. I'm trying to eat healthy, y'all. I'm trying, especially when I don't meal prep. I gotta like really stay on track. I didn't meal prep this week because I ain't feel like going to the supermarket. So I just been winging it all week and spending my money. That's what I gotta do. You don't want to meal prep, you're going to spend hella money eating. But think about it. Most normal. Ooh. They almost crash. Most normal people spend money out to eat every day too. Um, last night, oh, I didn't vlog it. Shit, I be forgetting the vlog stuff. I went to Panera and I got the spicy Thai chicken salad, and I usually get the baked potato soup, but they ran out. Oh my gosh, and I think they only had that on Monday and Wednesday. So what am I gonna eat today? Oh no. Anyways. I got that, and since they didn't have the baked potato soup, I got the black bean soup. The black bean soup actually turned out to be quite delicious, I must say, and I was nice and full after that meal. I had a half a salad and a bowl of soup, so. And a half a salad is big for it to be $6, you know? It's half, but it's, it's, um, it's not like small when you think of half. So, Nah, if I eat that every day, I feel like I could do, see some progress. If I eat that every day, that's $11 a day. And try to make my own breakfast. I don't know. I'll probably eat Panera again today. Because that's the only thing that you can really eat out on the go that's healthy. It's hard to eat on the go and be healthy. Especially when you don't have no places. They need to have, like, vegetarian fast food restaurants or, like, something. <sighs> so, it's so hard. Close to this, um meme on my insta story it say men never men never say men never apologize they just text what you doing when they think you calm down like why do y'all do that like nigga no i didn't calm down how can i help you after i ignored the first five calls this the next six facetimes then i reply back how may i help you nigga <laughs> What you mean that I calm down? No, I did not calm down. What you mean? What am I doing? Nothing. Looking for a new nigga. This is my outfit. So draw simple. I wear black to work, so I just be finding the first black thing I could find. I got this sweater from um, Fashion Nova, and it zips all the way up, but I just have it down. These cutouts. These regular blue jeans, trailer roofs, some bands, and I just accessorize with this hat from Urban Outfitters. I'm slimming down, y'all. The numbers is not moving like I want them to, but my clothes are looser, and I'm losing inches, especially since I haven't been working out every day like I was in the beginning. But I'm trying. <laughs> it's 
So yeah. Just waiting. Listen to my old school music. I love old school music. So good. Loving somebody. But somebody loves you back. Yes. Look at my case, y'all. Isn't it so cute? I know. I love me a designer case. Bake for real. And be loved in return is the only thing that my heart desires. Appreciate the little things you do. The big ass fly in the shop. I just put my client under the dryer and I'm chilling. I'm about to drink this cold pressed juice, Restoration Red. So if you guys can read it, it's actually from 7-Eleven. I never go to 7-Eleven, but Judy, if you're watching this, she introduced us to this, but she always brings us the green one. They didn't have the green one today, so I tried this one. Tomato, tart, cherry, beet, strawberry, apple, and lime. Um, 100% fruit and vegetable juice. So this is my lunch. No added sugar. This one is 90 calories per serving. So it's two servings in here. So 180 calories. Um, it's sugar in it from obviously from the fruit and vegetable, but it's no added sugar. And yeah, so this is my lunch. As I rest my feet, I done took my slippers off. I mean, my sneakers off. Them bands hurt. I haven't worn those bands in a while. They're not comfortable to work in like they were when I first got them. The slip on trekker print ones are comfortable. I could work in those all day. These regular ones are not comfortable. So, yeah. I'm just chilling. And I cannot believe um, Bill Cosby today found guilty. How they gonna send an 80 year old man to jail? How, what? And he's looking at 30 years. He's gonna die in jail, that's sad. A legend is gonna die in jail, these people. But guys, if it's not consensual, don't do it. Hmm. Quick PSA, it's delicious. Hmm. It is delicious, yep. Here I am at Panera again. What the hell did they get that only cost six dollars and eighty-one cent? That gotta be a smoothie, cause my food cost fifteen dollars. I got a soup and a whole salad instead of a full salad, cause a bitch is hungry. What I ate today was that tuna and wheat Ritz crackers this morning for breakfast, and then I ate that. Um, I mean, I drank that. That juice, the press juice, and that's all I ate today. So I deserve this meal. It's gonna be so good. I think I'm gonna take a bath tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna take a bath or wait till tomorrow. Cause I just got two new bath bombs from Bath and Body Works. Them things cost six dollars and fifty cents each. And I don't know if I want to use my bath bomb today. So for me to clean out the tub and not use a bath bomb. Would that be a waste of time? I think so. Tomorrow would be better for me to use a bath bomb. Friday night, take a bath, relax. Ugh, that's what I want to do. Don't y'all hate when y'all post a picture on Instagram and you think it's going to do numbers and that shit is not do numbers? <laughs> or it'll do numbers to the next day but you think that shit going to do numbers like immediately. Nah, son. Hi, how are you? 55. Okay. Thank you to. Oh, y'all are getting this big giant bag. Oh, that salad looks phenomenal. Okay. I'm on my way home. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It's finally Friday, it's the last day of this vlog, and it's a rainy 
dreary day out. So that explains my whole look. <gasps> oh, I was about to say, is it May 6th yet? Every time I get these things, I freaking wait till they expire and remember I have them. So I'm going to use that. Um, but yeah, you guys. So I just have on these, like, I wouldn't call them, it's so dark. I wouldn't call them liquid leggings. You guys can't really even see. Let me see. They just like this material legging. And then I have on this mesh crop top. It's a mesh shirt, but it has a crop top underneath. Back just ties and it's just exposed. And I just have on some white chucks. I haven't worn these chucks in a minute. They bust, they, they're worn. You know, like distressed looking, but yeah. I'm about to put this hat on because it's raining. But yeah, it's a chill rainy day. So that's why I have this outfit on. You can kind of see my waist beads through this. Hopefully you can't see my panties, but I'm not going anywhere special today. Well, I'm going to work, but. Okay. Are my panties shut? You know, no, my panties are not showing. If I was smart and I wasn't lazy, I would pack gym clothes so I can go to the gym after work. That's where I really need to be since I'm finishing early instead of going to the mall and doing all that type of stuff. Cause I feel like I'm gonna be done working literally by five o'clock. And then when I'm at the shop by myself, there's no reason to sit around and lollygag. I don't have anybody to talk to. So I really should pack some gym clothes so I can go to the gym. So yeah, you guys, that's that. The first thing I see, these pants, this shirt. No, I'm gonna do this shirt. Did I wear this shirt already? No. I'll do this shirt. It matches. Hello, everyone. I just finished my first client. It's two, well, she just left. I finished her like two o'clock. It's 2.40. Actually, I finished her like 2.30ish. Um, I didn't get to work till like 11.15. Started at 11.30, so like two hours. Then you sit under the dryer for an hour. Now, my two o'clock is late. Let me text her. Like, um, are you on your way? To drink the other juice I got yesterday. I really want to go to 7 Eleven and get the red one. I might get that later. This is the one I'm drinking today. This one has more calories than the one from yesterday. Hopefully, this one tastes good because it's got coconut water in it. I do not like coconut water. This is pineapple, orange, banana, apple, mango, passion fruit, and coconut water. So it should be good. I'm about to catch up on some YouTube videos. My mom is asleep. So my client is a little girl. She's only like eight. No, she's nine. And so her mother texts me. I do it here all the time. Mother texts me yesterday like, can I, um, bring her tomorrow i said yeah bring her in too she said okay um that works because she got a half a day so i just texted her like hey y'all still coming and she just texted me my mom is asleep that's kind of freaking that's kind of scary i hope she's okay because how do you forget to bring her to a hair appointment and you just picked up from school i don't know what that's about so I just texted her, I said, oh, you had a hair appointment today, Jenna. I guess she forgot. So hopefully everything's okay over there. Let's taste. Mm. It's not bad. As long as I don't taste the coconut water, I'm good. It doesn't take much. And this one has a more gritty taste. And then you can, you know, like it's actually a um so I'm gonna do this. And it burns a juice, you know. So this is called She's not coming. military also uses this. So that's irritating because I got a four o'clock now I'm about to sit here for an hour doing absolutely nothing. Okay. And I could have brought my computer and edited video we'll do something I'm gonna stop the a lot quicker, I gotta so figure, out, figure out something to do maybe I can start on this wig I gotta make <laughs> but not until May 8th I could start on it because May 8th will be it before you look up I'll check in with y'all oh my camera's gonna die might be it for today <laughs>
Yeah, y'all, so I'm sweeping the floor. I just did another little girl. Somebody had booked earlier this afternoon, but, you know, I didn't know it was going to be a um for the lady's daughter. And she was seven. She got a little silk press. I didn't record her on the, on my, um, what's it called? I didn't block her only because... I don't think it would have been a problem, but one, I didn't want my camera to die, and it was getting late. But she was just so cute. I'll probably insert a snap so y'all can see her, because she was just the cutest thing. Or I'll insert a picture or something. Um, she got a little silk press. Very few kid clients. You go on my hair page, you see the same kids, like the same couple kids, because... You can't be out here doing little kids here. They be doing the most. But you got to train these kids up. Like me, I was never a tender-headed kid because... I hope this don't fall. I was never tender-headed because um, I was in the salon from a young age. Which is why I'm a stylist, because I was in the salon from a young age, and I would literally watch my stylist, and I would just think that their job was so freaking cool. Like, legit. Like, I could honestly say, I always knew I was going to do here. Whether or not I went to college. I went to Hampton, if you guys are new to my channel. But, you know, even with me going away to college and majoring in what I'm majoring in, I still always knew I was going to be a hairstylist from a young age. When other kids was asking for toys, I was asking for mannequins or Bratz doll heads. I know if you guys are like around mid-20s, just in your 20s at all, mid-20s, late late 20s, mid, whatever. Y'all remember the freaking Bratz head dolls that they, they arms was like this? Why do I like somebody standing there? Oh, yeah, um, I would ask for Bratz head dolls, or once I was getting older, I was just getting the regular mannequins, like, that I, that you get in cosmetology school, and I would literally take my mannequins with me places, while people was taking Game Boys places, and, like, little devices, yeah, I had that stuff too, but I would grab my mannequin heads, and I'd be braiding, and I'd be doing all type of stuff. This is at a young age, so I always knew what I was going to do here. But I just got off topic. I say all that to say, you got to send your kids, your daughters, to the hair salon.